The Phantom FG-1 is a British Tier 6 fighter. Currently it is one of the better planes at its tier. So how does it perform at its tier? A quick look at the stat cards tells you, that the Phantom has an extremely good thrust to weight ratio and good top speed. It has an average roll rate and stall speed. And by far the most noticeable thing is the poor turn rate. Now that we know all this, you're probably wondering how to fly it. Well, the most important thing is to not turn fight with anyone. Without any ordnance your turn rate is already pretty bad, with a gun pod and missiles that turn rate drops even lower. Instead you can boom and zoom, but I recommend that you stick to head-ons. And when I say head-ons I don't mean those with guns only. You have 4 sky flashes which if used correctly will give you 4 easy kills. Here I've got an example, don't worry I'll explain everything that I did here. First thing I did was align with the enemy. After hard locking the enemy, I saw it was an F4J. As most of you probably know, the F4J has a pulse Doppler radar, meaning it can't get chuffed. With that in mind, I knew I'd have to crank. We both fired a missile around the same time, as soon as I fired my missile, I started turning to increase the distance between me and the enemy's missile. If the enemy won't do the same thing, my missile will hit first, in this case the enemy isn't cranking and is flying straight towards my missile. If you're watching with your volume off here's a summary of what I said. I cannot forget about the ordnance this plane gets. I'll start with the gun part. The Phantom FG-1 doesn't have an internal gun, so it needs an external gun pod which noticeably reduces your performance. This gun is similar to the 20mm M61 Vulcan but with a higher spread. It still hits hard but you might have some issues aiming it. The M90 is this plane's only stock missile. It's a pretty decent missile but easily flared. The M9G is basically the same missile but with radar assisted locking. The M7E is the first semi-active radar homing missile you can buy on the FG-1. It's very similar to the M7E2. The Sky Flash is basically an M7F with a worse booster, giving it less range but it starts pulling harder faster. Let's not forget about the upgrades. First you should upgrade the engine and wings. Upgrading this is even more important if you plan on carrying 8 missiles and a gun part. Then you should upgrade the pay grade. Getting a couple extra coins is extremely useful, especially if you don't get a lot of kills. After that, you can upgrade the pilot and airframe. These two upgrades aren't noticeable when playing so you can skip them, and finally, the crew training and gun upgrades. The reason why I recommend you not spend any upgrade points on the gun upgrade is because you don't get any additional ammo with every upgrade. It is true that your spread decreases and your fire rate increases, but most of your kills will be from missiles, so it doesn't really matter if your gun is upgraded or not. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Phantom FG-1. In its current tier it's very good, so I recommend that you enjoy it while you can. With that said I thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.